Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. How jiggly we appear. Oh shit. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. This is my speciality. We got this. Alright, you guys need to move up there and draw their fire. Are you guys going? You fucking pussies, honestly. Why am I doing like a fucking duck walk? Alright. Like, let's give them the good old sniper roo. Uh, maybe we should go find something to go hack, actually. Okay, he's hacked. Dude, that's like one of the more useful abilities I've ever seen. Is this, is this a guest sniper? It was a guest sniper. Oh shit. Alright, let's give ourselves good old heals. See, I, I think the cover system kind of blows ass, I won't lie. Oh, this fucking piece of shit. Oh god. What, what are my teammates doing? <laughs> they, they, I thought they had my back. Get up here, you fucks. What do I pay you for? Trying to reduce the shield somewhat. Well, the pistol's not particularly accurate, but that's why we're gonna probably go upgrade this for now. You're a useless piece of shit, Kate Kaden. What kind of amazing abilities are you gonna use on this guy? No, oh, he's just gonna walk towards you while you both don't take cover. Alright. It's always up to good old Shepard. Alright, let's go find the bombs. I, I like it when there's one enemy up because I can just run around as much as I want. Alright, you guys got that one, right? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna disarm bombs, guys. You, clearly you guys have this. I, I see Caden dead, dead, okay. You guys may not have this. Oh dude, we, oh dude, we could definitely take all that shit now. I need some Krogan armor right now. I missed. Guys, this is hard to aim. I'm not even fucking kidding. Like, this is after, like, three shots of... Oh, fuck. Everyone's dead. Alright. I may have thrown a bomb there. There we got it. Alright. Wakey, wakey. So... There's, there, there's bombs right now, right? And I can't sprint fast right now. The, the one time I, I'd want to be able to run fast, it's... <laughs> no, you gotta do... You gotta do the, the sissy sprint. Don't worry about it. Uh, we got that one already. Ah, oh, here's the last one. Okay. The Geth aren't very good about where they plant their bombs. Let's be honest now. All charges disarmed. Alright. I mean, the, the combat mechanics are fluid enough, but I think the kind of team that we're going to want to grab together is one that um, either adds a lot of utility with a lot of active biotic abilities, or like, not really so much weapons, but more like tankiness and, and being robust and things like that, so... All right, let's uh, let's have a look at some of the things we recovered here. So we got combat sensor, hardened weave, and shield generator. So that seems pretty good. Oh, here we go. Sh sh do we want shield recovery or hardening? 
biotic and tech attacks. Okay, we'll just do shield regeneration. We'll let, like, not Kanan, fuck Kanan. Uh, we'll let her have the hardened weave. There you go. And apparently medium armor for Tardians and Krogans. Uh, well, there's not really anything we can do about that. There you go, you can have a new weapon too and everything. Well, it looks like we're Gucci. I, I kind of like the assortment abilities, they're kind of nice. Who the hell is this guy? Oh, are you fucking joking? You know what? Eat a tech mine, piece of shit. Okay, that literally does nothing. Oh fuck. Okay guys, back, back there, back here. This is where we hold them, this location. They will come to us. Maybe you should hide behind the box. Look at him run slowly towards us. Oh wait, actually no, he's... For some reason I thought that was a death animation. Is Caden sleeping again? Holy shit. He's like the dock worker, just taking naps at random. Alright, let's go over here. Ashley, the only useful teammate we have. Alright, don't worry, he'll attack his friend now. Let's look at one-on-one. -on -one. This is the Geth raiding ritual, mating ritual. Oh shit, yeah. So he will attack me. Alright, we got him. Alright, Kaden, get up. I suspect him of being a smuggler as well. Oh, here we go, we have a... I don't even know what the fuck this place is. So now I just feel like I need to... Oh, here we go, see? There's a technician kit here. Cypher tool and grenade upgrade, nice. See, if we don't if we don't get every nook and cranny, whatever will we do? By the way, I don't really look at the journal or anything, so like we got the prologue mission, there's a bunch of shit here, but I don't care. Uh, codex is O and it just tells us about the Roughly species and shit. Years ago, the okay, yeah, you can tell that's gonna be like an hour and a half of that shit, so I mean if you don't already own the game. I mean, that you can try something called, like, Wikipedia or some shit, or whatever the fucking game wiki site is for this this thing, so... I mean, that works, too. Why is it keep giving me Tarian armor? That's the last thing that we want. Alright, easy decryption. Easiest decryption of my life. Oh, we got another Reaper 1 and a heatsink upgrade. Probably, probably that would be good on the sniper rifle, actually. See, I don't even use the combat radar, I won't lie. I have not even touched it. Oh, dude, phasic rounds. Alright, now we gotta see what some of this shit is, because now, now I'm honestly curious. No, we don't, we don't want to go there. Alright, let's see. Okay, so apparently the Reaper 1 is apparently a very fine sniper rifle. Uh, absorbent dissipates heat. Neat. We don't need accuracy. Does it look, guys, do you think I need accuracy? Because I'm fucking insulted. Shield bypass, but negative 30% damage. Wow, that seems like the worst thing imaginable. Cooldown reduction, no. Damage versus synthetics. Well, that would have been useful ages ago, but I guess we'll just put it on now. Um, we have a lot of shit we can do. More shield bypass. Um, I guess we could still use that. Maybe, maybe I'll actually give that to Ashley. Where's, uh... Where's dear old Ashley? Yeah, you don't use pistols, but you do use this shit. See, I, I, I don't... Well, whatever, fine. You can still have the combat fucking bullshit. But she can have the phasic rounds. That seems good. When there's like a heavily shielded enemy, she'll handle it. And we still give Caden nothing, because he hasn't earned his stripes yet. He's, uh... He keeps fucking lying on the ground and... Just chilling, man. Fucking worst teammate. N.A. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by.
Shepard! No, don't touch it! It's too dangerous! Yeah, nice job, Ashley, you fuck nugget. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor, Doctor Chakwas, I think he's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About fifteen hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. Don't be so hard on her, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The Lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities? Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the Commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. What, does it just say the same Intel thing? Intel dropped the ball, sir. <laughs> we had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. I don't want her on my ship. I'm the captain of this ship, Commander, and I want Williams on our crew. <laughs> okay, do it again. Intel dropped the ball, <laughs> sir. We had no idea. You haven't been right. inside the veil in two centuries. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Intel dropped the ball, sir. The Geth haven't no... been outside the veil in two centuries. You Commander. said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a specter. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. 
A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Yes, El Capitan. Is there some med gel? Shit, no med gel? What kind of infirmary is this place? Ah, oh, here we are. Ah, oh, there we go. That's the stuff. Hey, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. When your number comes up, it's over. His did. That's grim, Commander. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Not after Torfin. That must have been hell. Every time you kill, it gets a little easier. With all due respect, I'm glad you're on our side. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up. Dead Marines. Dead colonists. And in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. You saved a lot of lives, Commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective with what happened to Jenkins. I'm not looking for a shoulder to cry on, Williams. Just stay focused on your job. Understood, sir. I thought she'd be in the mess. Is this the mess? It actually might be. Okay, we don't talk to Caden. Uh, let's talk to Dr. Chuckwell. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I don't really want to talk to her. The worst mess hall ever. Alright, let's go talk to Joker. Do you know why they call him Joker? Because I'm the Batman. No, not really, actually. I don't fucking know. I forget why. Dude, I want to talk to... I want to romance uh, Presley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the Yeah, I know. It was really tough, yeah. Yeah, poor Jenkins, guys. Alright. Joker, take us in. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. We still have money in the future.
size of that ship? The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to Dock 422. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Oh boy. What? Wait, why are they all following me around? Fuck him. Oh, dude, let's go hack some computers. Fucking put some ransomware on this shit. Oh boy. Alliance patrol alert. Captain Hendrickson reported unusual uh, energy readings during the patrol of the Argos Rogue Cluster. Alright. So I guess we're gonna go back to there at some point. Or the fuck that is. <clears throat> Welcome to the Citadel, guys. City 17. Tell the aliens from the animals. Wow, that's fucking racist. Alright, you get to stay on the team. Uh, Caden's gotta go, though. Just saying. Uh, everyone gets their own room. Oh, shit. But these allegations are very serious. I can't just... This is serious. My reputation is at stake. I spoke with the consul in confidence, and her alone, and she betrayed that confidence. All right, I will look into it for you. In the meantime, do not do anything rash. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong. And it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari Consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shatira, the Consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. 
Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. I guess we're gonna go do a little fucking quest for him, and we'll be back for that robot later. Because <clears throat> I know there's a collectathon here. This one had a lot. This game had a lot more collectathon related items. Apparently, that was the only, apparently the one with the big elephant creatures is the only room we were allowed in. Oh, dude, we are we're allowed to keep our weapons, and nobody cares about just firing them randomly. Good day, Commander. The human ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Why, well, thank you. Let's see what's up here. We get, we get to just fuck around and sit it all for like 10 episodes, so have fun. Oh, I think I installed a mod to make the elevator sequences shorter, so if not, I'll just edit it. Fuck it. You guys want. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Alright, we get more codex shit. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. <laughs> it is good to meet you. This is a fucking. What are these guys called? Elcor? Yeah. Dude, maybe I'm an Elcor. Fucking. Guys, welcome back to part 15 of Mass Effect. Today we are going to be shooting sniper rifles. Ah, oh, shit, this guy. It's Executor Paladin. No, Pal. Pal. Paladin. That's. I, I, I would have liked Paladin, but it's Paladin now. That's, I, I just decided that. Commander Shepard. I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Nobody sends me anywhere. I just need some information. You humans are always so curious. Always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? Ah, uh, never mind. Forget I asked. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? Absolutely. The only thing that matters is accomplishing the task. Maybe. But I've never had to cross that line to get the job done. Never. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. I'll be going now. Uh, is there any... Ah, uh, there's a... Console. I'll just fucking press the, do this one then, you know. Oh shit. There we go. Diplomatic advisory. Come join us in the Hawking Ada sector. Uh, whatever. I find. Whatever. Alright, guys, we're gonna peace out, so take care. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And goodbye. And, uh, suck to Ashley, not Kaden. Well, they built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. <laughs>